Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? This is my first YouTube tutorial video. Um, first time doing it, let me know how it is. It's more about the materials, my process, less than the painting techniques. Um, but really excited for you guys to check this out, so please like, subscribe. Um, stuff will be in the descriptions about the materials I'm using. And thank you. All right, so the first part of making a custom is you need to make your canvas and to do this I use this Blick fabric screen printing ink. It's white, goes for about $30 so it's not cheap but it lasts a while. And then you can really take any old brush, this is the one I use, has a nice carbon uh, handle. You want it kind of big so you can cover more area but essentially just start making a layer of the white screen printing ink. And it's essential that you get every spot. You might have to jockey the material a little bit to get under, but this is making your canvas. And what it will do is help the art be more flexible and a little more washable. So yeah, getting in every single crack there and building a nice sturdy canvas. So once your canvas is done and dried, I usually let it dry for a night, I literally go in with a mechanical pencil. This is what I do to essentially plan out where I'm going to paint. I'll use random materials like this glad lid for, a, for example. Just to get any details straight edge but all I'm doing here is planning where I'm going to paint basically just getting a, a basic sketch. Alright, so this is where it gets a little complicated. I use this basic Blick acrylic paint. They come in 48 tube sets. This is really convenient. I think it goes for like $50. And essentially what I do is put it in my palette. And the most important step is this right here. This is golden textile medium. GAC 900, make sure you're getting the right brand, and it is essential to the process. What I'm doing here is mixing it with the paint, and what this does is makes the paint more loose as well as more washable and can blend better. It is a big step to the process. You want to use this basically for every stroke. Otherwise your paint will be crusty and flaky. Here's what it looks like for those who missed. And now's the fun part. I'm just going to kind of speed it up throughout the rest of the video, um, but those are the basics on how I get started.